my, my name is Mike Hodgson. I'm here at the Precious Metals Conference at Beaver Creek, and it's the 11th of September, 2024. And pleased to uh, give you an update on what we've been doing. Pleased to get one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good. Yeah. This is the end of the day. We're both tired, but we're going to so we're going to rip through a, a quite full update of how things are going. I'm going to start with the share price. Wowzers. Good. Amazing, right? Ideal. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. It's, uh, yeah, we've, um, uh, we're now back at exceeding the last raise we did in 2021. Yeah. So, you know, we've obviously gone through a, a, a tough three or four years with, well, three years, the pandemic. It's a bit of a problem. list. Yeah, yeah. Probably occurring uh, a permitting and a bit of limbo during that yeah. period of time. But obviously those things are behind us now. So. The joys of mine yeah. behind us now. And what's, what I think people seem to be rewarding you for is the building of cash. Yeah. I mean, where are we today? Uh, we're $16 million as of the end of August. Uh, we'll add a bit more before the end of the quarter. And we are forecasting if we deliver on guidance, that's going really well. Looks like it will. Uh, we should end the year with a big part of $20 million in the bank. And I go, I think back, we started the year with 10. Yeah, yeah. We were going to build Coringa with out of cash flow. Uh, we did actually expect our cash would actually go down. We'd, we'd mm. eat into our treasury and end the year with about eight. And we're gonna be we're gonna be doing all that build out of cash flow and then the uh, somewhere approaching 20, so fantastic. Right. fantastic. So, okay, and, well, I remember three years ago, we, we had conversations about how do I pay it, pay down debt and yeah. Yeah, et cetera. Okay, so how, how times would change. $2,500 gold is doing everyone a lot of favors if you're a producer. Explorers, developers, and, not necessarily. And the as well. And the real as well. So healthy. fourteen thousand Brazilian reais an ounce. That is massive, right? And, and with our ninety percent of our costs in reais, that is the key number. Okay, so balance sheet is looking quite healthy at the moment. It's fair to say. Now people are going to ask, well, what are you going to do with that? Okay, so maybe give us an update on both um, sites uh, where you're at at the moment, and then what's to do. Yeah. Uh, well, um, we'll have the ore sorter finished. Uh, the crushing plot is pretty much up and running. The next weeks it'll be switched on. We'll have the ore sorter operational uh, all being well before the end, commissioned in October, which means we're gonna enjoy a good fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. The great thing about that is we are today only transporting high grade Coringa ore to the Polito plant, so it's contributing to those mm -hmm. those 40,000 or 38,000 ounces we're gonna do this year. Mm -hmm. um, Q4 will be the best quarter because A, we'll be transport Everything at Kering will be then go through the ore sorter. Mm -hmm. Remembering what the ore sorter does, it takes our ore bodies, ROM of six grams per ton and converts it into 11, 10, 11 yeah. grams per ton, which is great and reduces the mass by half. Um, that, we'll start doing that in October. We have a stockpile at um, Coringa where the medium to low grade, which we've been accumulating for the last two years, mm -hmm. what has not been transported. So the ore sorter's got that to eat through too. That's why I'm so sort of bullish about Q4. Um, Next year, we, we're not going to have a big CapEx project to do. So, uh, and we're going to ramp up our ounces to probably about 40, 46, 47. Okay. That's 10,000 more than what we're doing this year. That's going straight to the bottom line. Um, so I, we cautiously, I think we expect to generate another $20 million next year, depending on what price you put in or whatever, but that. Um, net, this is our net number. That'll be, that'll be a net number because the only thing we're really going to do next year is resource growth probably focusing mostly at Coringa, some at Polito Complex. Meaning exploration. Exploration, Brownfield Exploration Program. And we can, we, if, look, if I'd known we were going to be so um, cash generative this year, we'd have done more this year. But yeah. it wasn't looking like that, you know, beginning of the year. You know, we could have we could have started that a bit sooner. And the problem is with where we are, it'll start raining in November time. So we've kind of now missed the window. So in March, April time, when it, the dry season starts, we'll start our drilling. So I think next year we'll do a fairly uh, aggressive drill program at Coringa and some at Polito. Um, What's that I, looking like in terms of meters or dollars? Um, I reckon we can be five, five million, something okay. like that. Uh, and we will be, most of that will be at Coringa where we're going to drill. There's a lot of upside to actually grow the resource at Coringa right. uh, between sort of the areas we have drilled already. Uh, so we're going to do that next year and we'll probably do it the following year. I think total we'll drill for that campaign will be about 30,000 meters. And I think for 30,000 meters, we could probably double our Coringa resource from current 500 and make a hole in a million ounces. That's our plan. And that's important because, you know, we are, our plan, as you know, and we discussed a lot with your sorting at Polita, Coringa and some more sorting at Polita, we are going from 40 to 60,000 ounces by improving the grade, not by chasing scale, just getting the grade up. Mm -hmm. 
We will then hit at 60,000 ounces a, a plant constraint again. I mean, this is a company that's going to be making a lot of money with 60,000 ounces, but we will, where do we go from that? Well, that's going to be driven by the drill bit because we will reach a processing, let's say, ceiling at that point. So then we have to decide, do we ever want to revisit production or plant capacity or plant at Coringa, mm -hmm. or are we going to continue trucking it to Polito and how much to expand it by? But that'll be... Those, those, the resource growth will actually answer those questions. Okay, so balance sheet-wise, um, cash-wise, it kind of feels like, and in terms of ha having control of and not having to raise money for exploration, it kind of feels like as an investor, kind of sit back and enjoy the ride. Yeah, I, well, I'm, I'm kind of basking in them. A moment that I've, we've got we've got money for we've been such a capital constrained company for such a long time it's it's just yeah, just great <laughs> it's, it's great to market when you haven't got to go back with your with your hand out begging yes yeah. it's really good well, it's, 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 yeah well it's, it's very different conversations I suspect yeah here at this conference and and other conferences where you're making you the job is to make people aware not, yes. say, not with a begging bowl yes that's nice um, but also, I guess you can take time to actually analyze the data to do things the way things you want to do, as opposed to are restricted in. And that's why, yeah, if we were drilling, like, say, a, a big bulk deposit where you just literally got to, well, let's look at our table here. It's like a chessboard. And if you're drilling a pearl free, you drill a hole there, 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 there. Yeah. there. If you just blanket drill it, okay? When you're drilling sort of smaller targets, you've got to be a bit more thoughtful about it, and you drill a few holes. And it's a results kind of driven process, yeah. you know? So you drill a few holes. You, do, you you want to see those results before you drill. Do we drill more there? Oh no, stop, we need to go over there a little bit. Why don't That's we it. kind of whip up an image here and we can stick it up on the screen for people here and just get, show people exactly what you're chasing. Is yes. they give them a sense of why it's not a case of, you know, some systematic blanket drilling thing. Yes. You, you, it, yeah, it's pretty hard. Exactly, because you, you go drill there and you're trying to chase that trend, maybe down plunge or down yeah. dip and things like that. So, Should we have a look at yeah. yeah. sorts of things? I mean, so, and you may talk us through this on, on the the audio. Because um, I, I was lucky enough to have a look well, at these. the issue is I haven't got one of those pictures here. <laughs> ah. But now this is all the ore sorting ones. I haven't got the, the drilling image. Let's, let's get a ore sorting. Let's give get a ore sorting. I'll give you a drilling image. Yeah. Image. But, so the drilling the drilling has to be, so the reason we can't, you, people say, well, you, if you're generating sort of $15, $20 million next year, why aren't you spending $10, $15 million on drilling? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, as I say, it's got to be systematic and it's got to be a risk reduction process. So that's it. But yeah, I just want to talk a little bit. I've got some images here about the ore sorting. And I want to sort of, these are very, I've been using these at the uh, conference here and it, it really shows why, how the ore sorter is going to work. And I think it's, it's quite important. Let's look at this one with a picture of you yeah. underground. This, okay, this first picture here is of me underground at Polito. And full it shows- Full model mode, pointing. Full model mode thing. Well Re done. Remembering my days of being a mind geologist myself. So. Fond memories. That's why I love going there so much because it, it brings it all back to me. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the vein there, vertical veins. You can see it's like half, three quarters of a meter wide. You can see the sulfides in it, and you can see there's the vein, and you can see the pink either side, which is the granite waste rock. But you can see it's not a, a super sharp um, contact. It's a bit sort of diffuse. And that's why at Polito ore sorting works pretty well, mm. but it's not the be all and end all. That, that's mm. that's the issue. That's what I'm saying. So what, what are we looking at with, with these kind of these sort of white and slightly right, that, goldy that's, looking? That's quartz. The gold that's chalcopyrite, which right. is a copper sulfide, and yep. the gold is actually in the sulfides. Got it. So that is where the gold is. So if you collect the sulfides, you collect the gold. That's the that's mm. the key. So the ore sorter has two types of um, scanning. It can scan on color and it can scan on x-ray, which is density, which is weight. Sulfides are heavier than granite and quartz and the rest of it. So you can set the, uh, the uh, algorithm up to say, right, when the ore sorter works, you can say, right, I want everything that's not pink. Yes. And I want everything that's heavy. And it just collects oh, they the can run you concurrently. Yes, they can. they can. Okay, right. So because we had the ore sorter of Polita from 2020, it meant when we got underground at Coringa and we right. wow. found that, we thought, well, goodness me, if you can't ore sort that, you might as well go home. So that looks like someone's painted a white streak. It does look like a white, it looks like a white wash. It's like white washing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, totally. So what we've got there is a probably a 0.7 meter wide vein. Mm -hmm. And if you zoom in, you can see the sulfides inside it. Mm -hmm. And all the gold is actually inside that band there. And in the red sort of microgranite either side, nothing. So okay. a real sharp contrast. So. It's very simple. We mine half meter wide veins in normally one meter wide stopes. 
So half of the material going to coming out of the mine is pink, pink granite, yeah. which is waste. And the other half of it is actually high grade vein. The ore sorter essentially captures just the white yeah. and eliminates the red. And it's the white that will then transport to Polito, high grade, go to our process plant. And uh, there we are. And hopefully we're going to be able to look at that later in the year. We're going to do a little visit. Yes, little... and you'll see a brand new, out of the box, shiny, all sort of crushing plant in front of it. And you'll see a beautifully simple, but incredibly effective process plant that's doing the job of what a $35 million process plant, which we were going to build, mm -hmm. and we've now just built it for $5 million instead. So that's... That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Okay, it's all, all coming together. It, it, that's what it feels like to me, because, you know, I think it was sort of on a rip in 2019. We, 2020, we know yeah. what happened, yeah. and 21, and everything else that came with it. Uh, it's nice to see this come together, because the, the, it feels it's always had the potential with that high, that high grade. As long as you get mine properly, it's always, you know, got the high, high potential of delivering for you. Yeah, and I, I think there's a lot to be said for what we do. Uh, you know, I, you know, I've always said this that you know, um, quality counts, um, and we do focus on quality. What we can't do in the mine, we do with things like this to try. And we are essentially, we're just maximising the uh, the infrastructure we've got and getting the best out of it, the most out of it by getting the grade up and just feeding it with a better 600 tons. When we go, where do we go after that? People are already asking here, saying, yeah. well, yeah, 60, that's great, but what next? What next do you, you know? Yeah. And it's like, well, organically, I think we can very quickly go up to 70 by a bit more milling capacity. But that's why the resource drilling at Coringa and Plito is so important, because that is going to, you know, get, if we double the resource at Coringa, we get another bit of, uh, of additional resource at Polito. Yeah, I think organically there will be a pathway to 100,000 ounces which is uh, a good place for the company. But I even think when we've got to 60,000 ounces, we're going to uh, get a, life's going to be a lot easier for us. It's very interesting that, you know, people have these in their minds, so sort of there's numbers which are important to them. 100,000 ounce producers is an important number to people. You know, a life of mine more than 10 years is important to people. Yeah. Uh, grade is important to people. Um, in, in all of that, when people are kind of working their way through there, they're, they're not necessarily cash generative because you're, you've kind of had a running start yeah. rather than, you know, off the blocks. That may work in your it advantage. It frustrates me enormously uh, that yeah. people don't focus on my two favorite words, cash and flow. Yeah. And that's it. And, and we will at $2,500 gold, 60,000 ounces, we're generating, I've said this before, we will generate cash that a lot of 150,000 ounce producers dream of. So, and that's because of grade and margin, and that's it. Yeah. Because we don't have huge costs because we're moving very small volumes of material, yeah. and that's it. And I, um, you know, uh, so yes, unfortunately you do, I keep hearing the word scale here all of the time, but, the, yeah. but then some people turn around and say, well, actually. I like margin. I like margin, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, we're not going to, uh, you know, the minute you've got money, people say, well, you need to buy this or do that or whatever, you know. It, yeah, and now I think we want to be, yeah, enjoy enjoy what we're doing, um, uh, and and grow the company, generate this cash, strengthen the balance sheet, uh, mm -hmm. and then you know let's see where we get to. Well, you know, I think I think you're, you're rewarding the people who trusted you and sort of stayed with you during this this phase. And for I new agree. investors, yes. there's yeah. more to come. So, yeah. Mike, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I've been I've been looking forward to being able to say that, right? Because it was it was always coming. Uh, obviously, gold price really, really helps, but you've also got to be good at turning it. So. Yes, yes, well, appreciate it. Thank you. Much okay. appreciated. Thank you.